everyone, this is Making Colors. And I picked something up at Walmart that I wanted to share with you guys. I have not got to try it out myself, so I'm going to be learning at the same time as you are. So this was only $10 at Walmart. I seen the Derwent and it popped out to me. So this is the Derwent Academy. Derwent has three ranges, a lot like Faber-Castell. Derwent's ranges are the children, the academy, and the professional. Obviously the professional prefer for professionals. The academy is gonna probably be, I'd assume, for college art students. And the children, needless to say, is for the kids. So this would be considered the middle range, the green middle range. For $10, you get 15 sheets of watercolor paper, nine inches by 12 inches, uh, one paint palette, which is right here. You get a paintbrush, which is a number seven. You get this little color chart here, which it looks like you have uh, a little dotted line, so you can cut it and keep it if you want. I have a bigger color wheel, so I won't be keeping that. But here are the colors you get in the watercolors. Here is the pad, and this is, I did notice, this was a 190 pound paper. My favorite paper that I usually get is this by Canson, and this is the 140 pound. So, they're pretty close. This one feels quite a bit thinner, but it still feels like it'd be great for, for doing what you need to do. Um, usually these are too big for me because I don't do big pictures. I cut them in half and do smaller ones. But So I'm going to swatch these out just so people can see what they look like on paper. So I tried to find this on Amazon. And I could not find it to save my life. I could not find it online. I could not find it on Amazon. So I'm thinking it's probably a Walmart exclusive. And one of the main reasons I got it is because I want to test out this white. I have a lot of issues with getting my whites to look the way that I want them. Uh, my watercolors. The white just never is vibrant. It never shows up. Well, that one needs to be mixed up a little more. So I'm hoping that this white will work out for me the way I need it to because every time I'm doing a watercolor, white is one of the most important colors for you to have. And even if you get in the more expensive rains, like my Windsor and Newton, I can't get a white that shows up on paper properly after I've laid my other colors down. So I'm hoping maybe this white will be the answer. I know you can hear my kids in the background. It's the weekend. They're back there playing, pushing each other around. Anyway, let's try this out. Now this really isn't a fair test because I'm doing white on white, but I'm going to test it in a moment here on top of another color. Yeah, see that's obviously just white. The colors are very very vibrant but this is just a little starter pack so of course they're not giving me pastels or baby colors they're giving me the vibrant brightest colors that you can mute with whites or blacks or blues and mute them down or change them into other colors so they're basically giving you the base colors oops i mixed those up there grass green whoopsie talking too much not paying attention I really like how this green looks. That's very vibrant. Very, very vivid, vivid colors. You can't even really tell these are watercolors. They're so vivid. I'm pretty impressed. But again, like I said, I didn't find this on Amazon, so I can't give you a link to it. But go to your Walmart and check in the art section and the craft supplies, see if they've got it. And it was uh, $9 and like 98 cents. And I think that's worth it for everything you get. Normally, 
these these alone right here can run you around ten to fifteen dollars at a store like uh, Michaels or Hobby Lobby. So adding on the colors and the brush and the palette, I think that's a pretty good deal. Now I'm just gonna these aren't dry. I'm gonna see if I can get it dry. And I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can get this white to stand out on the black. That part's dry. Oh yeah, that's, see that's what I needed. Yep, so we've got, I'm pretty happy here, we've got a white that stands out on other colors in watercolor paint. I don't know if um, a lot of my followers are into watercoloring, but if you are, you know how hard it is to find a white that stands out on other colors. It's just really difficult for me, at least I have not had success until now finding one. So the $10 alone was worth it for me to get this white right here. So that was just a quick little review. Again, uh, please go check out your Walmart. I think this is a great deal. For $10, you're getting the palette, the pad, paint pad, a brush and all these colors which are very vibrant they're great starter colors you got a white the only thing I would say is I wish they gave you two whites because to get more colors you're gonna need a lot of whites to get baby blue and pink and all the colors you're gonna be going for you're gonna be going through a lot more white than any of the other colors so I wish they would have thought of that and added an extra white Otherwise, I think this is a great deal and run over to your Walmart and check it out. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time on Making Colors.